Interim report on the Aswell surveillance mission. The subject was born into a family of doctors who conducted research on plagues. As well as modern medicine, he pursues knowledge in numerous other fields, including history, martial arts, fine arts, literature, and human culture. His broad knowledge and intellectual pursuits gained him entry into the organization. He contributes greatly to our group, including his research on ecological theory and artifacts, particularly those who've lost their humanity. In recognition of his deeds, he was rewarded with a seat among the Twelve, the organization's supreme decision-making body. Currently, the subject is assigned to our branch in Northern Europe, researching the evil seed phenomenon, which occurred yesterday. This ends the report. The following document contains an interaction with the subject. I have a hypothesis. I believe the evil seed was caused by what is known as the Cursed Sword, the yin to the yang of the Spirit Sword, the symbol of the Aval organization. The fragment of the Cursed Sword, gathered by intelligence, emitted a wavelength similar to the one observed from that pillar of light. Furthermore, those filthy miscreants who deplore the human race emit the same wavelength as the Cursed Sword. In other words, individual variations aside, the Evil Seed steals the minds of those with the same wavelength, turning them into fiends. This sword dares to populate the world with fiends who threaten my beloved human race. Disgraceful, isn't it? It is. Still, that abominable evil seed has sparked an idea in my mind. But let's leave that aside for the moment. In regards to the cause of the evil seed, hmm, if my hypothesis is correct, then it lies with the one who wields the Cursed Sword, the Azure Knight. That ends the report. The following document contains an interaction with the subject. At last, at long last, it is complete! I've created a prototype of a device that will be the key to freeing the human race from its shackles! That glove, you mean? This is no mere glove. Fitted with replicated fragments of the Spirit Sword and the Cursed Sword, it utilizes their wavelengths to unleash a power capable of annihilating the fiends! But... Fear not. As I stated, I'm using but replicas of fragments from the Cursed and Spirit Swords. I have not violated the organization's cause as espoused by the Oath, Death to outsiders, they who reject humanity, and to those who would wreak havoc with their power. On to the testing! <laughs> First, let's go outside and see what this device can do. <sighs> There's no cause for alarm. That filth is an outsider I captured for this very purpose. Let the experience begin. Battle one, fight! Go ahead! 
Absolutely done. Everything seems to have worked perfectly. However, more power is needed to produce the key. What is this key? <laughs> Why, it's the key to my plan to save the human race, of course. In time, this glove will produce it. But, alas, that moment isn't now. I need to find a way to increase its output. Ideally, I would create a wavelength close to that of the evil seed, but using fiends like those we encounter does not generate enough power. No matter. <laughs> we can worry about the methods later. That aside, I think it's time you knew about my plan to save humanity. It has no doubt been on your mind, correct? Let's commence the field test and rid ourselves of some filth. We shall go investigate the dimensional rift, the astral fissure that was discovered. According to the report, the astral fissure produces fiends similar to the ones we all know and despise, but that are even stronger. If I just sit around here twiddling my thumbs, our precious human brethren in the surrounding area may be transformed into filthy fiends! Onward to the astral fissure to investigate and to exterminate! A stronger wavelength? This is most promising! If you maggots want to pass through here in one piece, give us everything you got! W what's that? Hmm. Though their low intelligence concerns me, they still deserve love. I shall accept the love they have to give! Yeah! 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 
<laughs> what you trying to do? You're crazy is what you are! Oh dear, why is your tail between your legs all of a sudden? Well, I do love that look of fear in your eyes. Your bluster and limited vocabulary was so precious. Please, it's as you said. Forgive me. I'll do anything. Will you now? In that case, how about you all fight each other to the death right now? The victor goes free. Huh? You refuse, you die. So take up your weapons and use them to kill your beloved friends. Your life depends on it. Ah! I did it! I did it! Wonderful! Marvelous! What a splendid, drama-filled performance! W well Hmm, first, illuminate me. What were the names of those you just fought and your relation to them? Um, uh, I, uh... Don't test my patience. The one collapsed right there is John. Known him since our group started. Oh my! And who's that over there? He's me younger brother, and I... I... Such a fine expression! Finally, you realize what you have done! Do continue and be quick about it. Uh, <laughs> oh, what is the matter? Tell me how you feel! Lament to me! <laughs> Are you done? Well, fair enough. You put on a spectacular performance, so it would be unkind of me to be angry. Why so furious? Do not misunderstand my intentions. I adore the human race. Indeed. To me, humans are worthy of love like no other. The way they are always so delicately balanced between joy and despair, love and hate, reason and emotion, it gives me the strength to forge on. And so, I must give them my all in return. Be a shining ray of light that saves them. Let's proceed. If my estimates are correct, the astral fissure is the foundation of that shining ray of light. So this is the astral fissure? Glorious! Que grande! Yes, yes. Its wavelength and output seem to match the evil seeds. I can safely conjecture that this is the cause of the increased filth in the area. While I do need to consider their extermination, for now I'll try to enhance my device. <coughs> Well, it goes without saying that the astral fissure would be filled with powerful waves. This explains the filth appearing. How deplorable. It enrages me to think that such abominations could breathe the same air. One, fight! Here I go! Yeah. 
one. wonder why I chose not to seize them. Naturally, I wish to see all fiends destroyed, along with any monsters who pose a threat to the human race. What annoys me most is that they dare resemble my beloved humans. Such blasphemy. My experiments and observations on the filth have concluded. All that remains is to eradicate them. Now, it's time to enhance the device. Oh, my! Do you see? Do you see? The fragment's waves and its output have increased! What's more, the astral fissure is gone! Is this assimilation? Absorption? Interesting. This is a remarkable discovery. With this, my plan can proceed! What? The fragment... It shattered. The replica must have been too weak to handle the increase in power. So, it has to be the genuine article or nothing. <laughs> the organization must be on high alert by now. They've been fooled by your false reports, and they worship the replica spirit sword fragment. Even though the two fragments have been recovered. To think we could be controlled like puppets. My, what a pleasure this is! The leader of intelligence himself coming to say goodbye. You got here quicker than I anticipated. Well done. Why have you betrayed the organization, huh? <laughs> what have you done? Him? Well, I realized I was being observed. But when I asked him to stop, he refused. So I did what needed to be done. Fret not. His life is not in danger. While my plan for saving humanity is important, I do not take pleasure in killing a beloved human. Regardless, you really didn't suspect a thing, did you? Were you not even slightly suspicious about only receiving written reports from your observer? An evil apostate such as you could never save the human race. Your words cut me deep. I have a vision, a plan to save humanity, which I'm attempting to put into effect. Have you gone mad? Let me speak frankly. The evil seed was imperfect, for it was released merely as a result of the cursed sword. But by combining the powers of the spirit sword and the cursed sword, the evil seed can achieve perfection. When that happens, the world will be rid of fiends, elevating humanity to its rightful place and freeing them from their twisted fate. 
So that is why you needed a fragment of the spirit sword. Precisely. My research has laid the foundation for the model to produce a perfect evil seed. The ultimate seed. I no longer require the organization. I sympathize with your cause, and I have learned much about the spirit in Cursed Swords. But it is that cause which shackles me. My research has concluded. And with my plan to save humanity complete, you have all become shackles about my legs. I can see there is no reasoning with you. You leave me no choice but to slay you, here and now. <laughs> Do you think you can? You may be Gro's sword master, but you can't expect to defeat me. As thanks for your coming here personally, allow me to show you what happens when you combine the spirit and cursed swords. Absolutely done. Where did you obtain such power? You can still stand? I suppose I should have expected no less from one of the twelve. Sorry to keep you waiting. Finally, some backup. Kindly take care of this. I was careless to assume you were the only betrayer. How dare you oppose Lord Aswell, miserable swine! Let's leave it at that. Esther, all your pursuers have been taken care of. Well done. 
The time for research, experiments, and observations is at an end. We now enter the implementation phase. My beloved human darlings, I shall show you a shining ray of light that will free you all from suffering and sorrow. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. to the noble house of Valentine, the young lady knew not only good fortune, but also despair. Her father delved into alchemy in search of the key to eternal youth, soul edge, but found only madness and death. As a result, their house met with ruin. Her mother, before being consumed by a terrible illness, revealed to her they were not related by blood. Even so, the young lady's love for her parents was unfaltering. Following in the footsteps of her father, she devoted her life to alchemy and eventually found herself faced with the truth about Soul Edge. This can't be Soul Edge. This evil thing. This is what drove my father to madness? Soul Edge. Such a thing does not belong in this world. In my family's name, I vow to destroy it by my own hands. If Soul Edge is indeed the strongest weapon of all, I shall need to obtain an even stronger weapon with which to destroy it. I know exactly what I need. A shape-shifting blade, both sword and whip, that obeys my will. That is the answer. But how? Damn, I refuse to give up! Wha what in the world? I, Cross of the Pledge, shall confer upon thee the point in the escutcheon of destruction, Dexter Perpure. It's alive! Did I succeed? Yes, Dexter Perpure. Wait, who are you? The time will come. It is inevitable. Just you wait, Soul Edge. With this sword, all shall be carved to pieces. the West who's searching for Soul Edge. What if I am? Who are you to insult the Sword of Salvation? The Sword of Salvation? <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Let me give you some advice. If you really know nothing, then it's best you turn back now, little girl. Don't treat me like a child! Let's see how your sword fares against me. One, fight! Ah! 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 
Give it up already. Ha! 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 Battle two. Fight! More fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Hey! Get back here! So, I'm not the only one looking for Soul Edge. the demon if it aided me in my revenge. I intend to pay my debts. Is that so? In that case, Dexter the Pure, I shall require your assistance. My will shall be done. Uh, that name does not sit well. fool soul harvesting don't make me laugh I can't give up hmm Hey! What? 
Why'd you let him go? You kill too much. We have enough for now. Does it matter? There are plenty of them. And resurrection requires many more. Even so, you should show restraint. I am not here to assist you in a massacre. Alchemists have strived to achieve resurrection, but to no avail. All this is to bring your father back, but could it all really be so simple? His words have no ring of truth to them. More souls! I must have more souls! Why does that fiend have such an unquenchable thirst? I'm done. I cannot go on like this. I'm fed up with your methods. It's as simple as that. And I have my own purpose. Your own purpose? You fool. The soul edge you search for has been in front of you all this time. While I admit his sword does emanate an unusual aura, it would be pointless for him to keep me so close. He knows I seek to destroy soul edge. So? Naive. <laughs> I suggest you wipe that smile off your face. Or would you prefer me to wipe it off for you? Irksome wench! You'll see. As of right now, you're on my list of souls to harvest! Let's 
Great! Perhaps now you'll tell me what you know. to fry. Don't worry, your turn will come. Don't you walk away from me. Tell me what you know. Why? I wouldn't if I were you. You can't win in your present state. Out of my way! I don't care who you are, but perhaps you could share with me what you know. This blade contains a fragment of Soul Edge. It is reacting violently to your weapon. And to you. You seek the truth, but perhaps you already know it. Daughter of the Cursed Sword. No! That's not possible! Nothing. 
You have strength. Strength that comes from evil. Get away from me! It's up to you whether you believe me or not. But I've fought one who wielded the cursed sword before. Do not take me for a fool. That eldritch aura that envelops you. If I closed my eyes, I'd believe it was Cervantes himself. Think, who is your real father? You're lying! So long. I refuse to believe it until I see it for myself. Nightmare, damn you! I never crossed paths with Nightmare. It appears someone defeated the Azure Knight. As for what happened to Soul Edge, I know not. It's possible the one who vanquished Nightmare has it, or it could have been destroyed. Still, I feel it. A terrible evil calls out to me from somewhere in the world. Yes, I have accepted my fate. I am daughter to the Cursed Sword, the heir of an accursed lineage. So I have made a vow. A vow to obliterate the Cursed Sword and rid my own blade of evil. That is the sole purpose for which I now live. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. Cervantes de Leon was a pirate captain who struck fear in the hearts of all who sailed the Atlantic. The moment he laid hands on Soul Edge, its overwhelming power transformed him into a terrible fiend. However, two great powers opposed him, the holy warrior Sophitia, blessed by the gods, and Taki, a demon-hunting ninja. Together they defeated Cervantes, destroying part of the sword in the process. Consumed in Hellfire, Cervantes' body was reduced to ash. Though it appeared his ambitions had thus come to an end, it was not to be. Man's over there again. Looks kind of difficult to approach. What's he doing? Just staring at that shipwreck? Hey, I'd steer clear of him if I were you. Pirates used to hang out around there. It's got quite a history. So, it's a pirate ship? Ah! <gasps> For the longest time, I have been lost in thought. I no longer know who I am. I've forgotten something important. Yes, that's it.
<laughs> I never thought for a moment you'd actually be here, Captain. Er, I mean, Captain Cervantes. Ah. Right. That's my name. Cervantes. What do you mean? The Adrian? The Black Tail Inn? Ring any bells? Cut the small talk. Sounds like you're asking for a fight. Well, here I am. You do know how to use that sword, don't ya? Yeah, of course I do. Captain Cervantes. Steal and then murder. No, 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 please! Okay, now this next question is real important. Was I the type of guy to show benevolence towards someone begging for their life? belongs to me! Soul Edge, I'll make you mine again no matter what it takes!
There were two. One must still remain. I feel it. Soul Edge exists, and it's not far. But even if I get my hands on it, none of it will matter if I'm reduced to a mere puppet again. I shall become Soul Edge's master. To do that, I need much more power. souls I claim, the more my power returns. <sighs> but it's not enough. I need more than worthless fools. I feel as though I'm forgetting something important. My memory has yet to fully return. <sighs> There's something I'm missing.
I was wondering who'd dare pick a fight with us. You really come here alone? What? Wanna get your hands on our plunder? Your plunder means nothing. I came for your souls! Fine souls, but nothing more. I need some even finer. Something's coming back to me. As my power returns, so do these blasted memories. Damn this! Gods who watch over that girl are worshipped at a temple around here. Is that what my senses are telling me? Speak! Who are you? Judging by your arms and armor, you're a guardian, aren't you? Be gone, wretch, before you defile this sanctuary! <laughs> While I'm here, I may as well help myself. Take this! 
Empty. Soul Edge was here. Of that I'm certain. This remaining fragment. There is no doubt it belongs to Soul Edge. Even a single fragment contains so much power. I remember everything. The child of the cursed sword. My daughter was to be used as a spare vessel for Soul Edge. How much worth must such a fine soul have? If I could fuse the power of the shard with her soul, then perhaps Soul Edge would be reborn. Hmm. Someone approaches. Could it be my child in the flesh? <laughs> what fortuitous timing! I never thought you'd soil this place with your presence. <laughs> it's been too long, O oh daughter of mine. It has, but I'm not here to catch up. I'm here to send you back to hell! Oh! 
one. Fight! Your soul will be mine! I shall give you a shroom death! Predictable! Can't sever this blood curse! How adorable! Taste my power! Get ready! said you were going to send me back to hell? Your weak soul is of no value to me. Gah! Mark my words. I shall bury you myself. <laughs> I'll let you live. For now. I'll be waiting for you, my dear daughter. Come find me when you're stronger. When your soul matches your words, only then will I claim it and resurrect Soul Edge. When Soul Edge is mine again, the great pirate Captain Cervantes will be back with a vengeance. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.